Howdy, 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 everybody. This is the new ship. I wasn't really planning on going uh, up another line, but when the uh, Russian ships came out, I had to give this one a roll, and this is the one everybody's talking about. The Kinyatsudorov. I can never pronounce these things. Anyway, uh, just bought it. I mean, just bought it. This is a replay. Uh, give it a three-point cap, and I'm going to get it outfitted. And uh, you better en enjoy this ship while it lasts. Yep. Because this thing is very overpowered. And eventually, it's going to get uh, trimmed down a bit. I think they call that nerfed. But there's the gun layout. She's got... Ten guns. Strange arrangement, but if you're used to playing low tiers, you'll recognize that arrangement. So let's get her outfitted. There's hole A, hole B. Definitely going to go for hole B. Tier 3 is a pretty darn affordable. Usually I don't go with gunfire control system, but hey, it's tier 3, might as well. This ship has insane accuracy. And you're going to see it. And very good armor, too. No, <laughs> very good armor. Now, uh, main armor, it's mod 1. Really isn't what I uh, need. Uh, and I certainly don't need magazine protection. So I will go with auxiliary armaments in AA. Those actually do come in very handy as you'll see in this uh, battle. It's going to be the very first battle I've ever had in this. And I'm going to make some dumb mistakes. And you're going to see what it does to me. And the second slot, obviously, damage control mod one. That's pretty easy. Let's take a look at her artillery. She has a reload time of 36 seconds, which isn't that bad. Her turret rotation kind of sucks. Her dispersion is only 183 meters. That might sound like a lot. It's not. In gameplay, it's not. Now, the 33% chance of starting to fire is pretty nice. Maybe with a little bit more practice, I might actually use it. But not in this battle. Firing range 12.6. This is what is so insane. Look at this armor. 102, 127... 203, 102. That's just an insane amount of armor. In fact, if you're bow on or stern on, the enemy is not going to be able to penetrate you. Now, if you're dead broadside and they're very close and they're a battleship, you're going to get hurt. So you don't want that to happen. But... As long as you're smart enough and the gameplay unfolds to where you can keep uh, reasonably well angled, you're not going to get hurt. It's just not going to happen. Oh, they might light you on fire a few times. But you've got the HP for it. Now that spot on the deck, 16 millimeters, that is a vulnerable area. But at close range, they're not going to be able to do anything about that because it's flat. Long range, that's a different story. You got plunging fire there. So let's whittle this down. And there is her citadel. You can see it is almost the entire length of the ship. And not that, uh, not that, not that thick, but it's got so much armor around it. So you just don't want to take a broadside hit. You really don't. And of course the guns are hella armored. The survivability is not bad at all for a tier 3. She does have AA, and then I just doubled it with the uh, modification. 
Uh, her maneuverability, uh, her speed is pretty lousy, only 22 knots. Uh, the rudder shift time is actually not bad, uh, 9.7, but it, it, uh, that's because it just doesn't move very much. It doesn't take much to get from maximum port to maximum starboard. Right, look at her turning circle, 650 meters, that's, that's huge. And her concealment. She'll be detected by sea at 11.7, and her maximum gun range now is 12.6. But really, you want to get in a little bit closer. You can easily. Now the captain. This is a brand new captain. Only a three point. I'm of course going to let it uh, go with endurance. That's. I like to know how many people are shooting at me. And I do want to speed up my turret rotation. You outfit the ship the way you see fit. Rotation 56, that's not so good. Definitely want to go with turret rotation. The numbers don't look that impressive. But in battle, in battle it's a whole nother story. Yeah, that uh, that uh, f f three point skill is definitely what I'm going to go for. Alright, so let's get the ship. Oops, what was I thinking? Mm. Ah, much better. Mm. So I throw on a funny paint job and put on a little bit of flags. I'm going to take this thing out and show you what it can do. It's incredibly accurate and incredibly strong. Unless you make the stupid mistake that you're going to get to see me make. In fact, I make a couple stupid mistakes in this battle. Been a while since I played Tier 3. Let's go ahead and zip ahead a bit in the video. You can see where we spawned. Zip ahead a bit. And a little bit more. 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 <laughs> Oh man, even with the Sierra Mike flag, I'm only doing like 22 knots. <clears throat> Good grief. Oh, 22.8. Oh, I'm moving now. So our destroyer up here popped smoke. That's a good indicator that <clears throat> either he pushed the wrong button, <clears throat> excuse me, or he saw somebody. He's nervous. All right, so I think you saw somebody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here comes my first rookie maneuver. See that ship in front of me? Guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to get so darn focused on what I got going here. Okay, he was behind an island, so I couldn't really see him. But, my first real shot at him was very good. <clears throat> Missed, but very good. Boom. Landed some hits. So, I apologize to him. I say I am sorry. Good thing it wasn't torps. Did you see that accuracy? Those two shots just about landed in the same spot. When you have five turrets, you can see by the layout that you can only use four of them. But you always seem to have a gun ready to fire every couple of seconds. Well, I tried. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and push in a bit. Head towards B cap. Let me zip ahead a bit in the video. And 
and I do have company. And they're shooting at me, but remember the bow armor I've got? I got nothing to worry about. It's like the Richelieu. If you're bow on, they can't hurt you. One shell. 2300 damage. For a tier 3, that's not bad. So they are skipping a few off of me. So I went ahead and designate them for my secondaries. I don't know if I had to do that or not, but, well, I got my bases covered. Boom. One shell, almost 3,000 damage. Two shells, almost 4,000 damage. This thing lays in the hurt. It really does. So I got another battleship moving in, but this guy is the easier target. So I'm going to go ahead and let him have it. Worry about that other battleship later. Hold your fire, hold your fire, hold your fire, hold your fire. Okay. Oh, he took out our destroyer. Well, now, this guy has to go. Bye. That is another Kinyas Sovorov, just like what I'm driving. But look at that accuracy. I citadeled him because he's broadside onto me, but I'm broadside onto him. So I have got to turn. I have got to do something. But I can't stay broadside. Got him. Ha ha! That's what my secondaries can do. So it's right about here where I didn't notice. Take a look at the mini map. That's a battleship and I am 90 degrees. I am broadside on to him. He is going to hurt me. This is going to be a big mistake. You're going to see my health marker just take a dump. <clears throat> oh, shoot, what do I do? Well, the easier target for me to hurt Ooh, you see that? Just lost half. The easier target for me to hurt is this cruiser. So I'm going after this cruiser. I put out the fire and hit my recover button. And this guy has got to go. I did, uh, did good. I took out a citadel hit. Alright, so now I can focus on this guy. God, I wanted to kill on that last cruiser. So that was my big mistake. I should have guessed that there was another battleship up there. I saw him earlier. Incredible accuracy, isn't it? And the secondaries actually do a decent job. He's gone. From the other videos I've seen on this ship, this battle did not do the ship justice. This thing is overpowered. Really overpowered. Definitely over armored. Now, when you take a look at the detailed report, you see uh, I only hit this other ship, the the Sorovov, <laughs> three times. But look at how much damage was done with just three shells. The St. Louis, seven times, but look at all that damage. The other St. Louis, nine times, but look at all that damage. The Bogatier and so on and so on the ship definitely deals out the damage this is one you're gonna hold on to and you're gonna come back to from time to time 
and you're gonna play <laughs> that's because it's so overpowered uh it's how can it not be fun to play anyway that is it thanks for watching stay safe and have fun